These are notes for section 6.7. Okay, so we'll be using something called the zero factor property. We're solving equations by factoring. This is on page 333. And so key item here is zero factor property. If A and B represent real numbers, if A times B equals zero, then either A equals zero or B equals zero. Okay, so the product of two things is zero. One of them's gotta be zero. So we'll be using that over and over and over in this section. Okay, so 6.7. Page 337, 1 to 87 odd. So there's some problems there up to about 19. So there's some more down to about 47. Um, bottom. And some more on the next page. Here we are, up to 87, which you can see there. And then the answer is in the back of the book, 6.7. 6.7, there we are. And maybe you can't quite see the far right side, so let me move that over a little bit. There we go. And move it back over there. Okay. All right, so we're doing the zero factor property now. So solving equations by factoring. Number one, x plus two times x minus one equals zero. Okay, that's something times something equals zero. So that means x plus two, the first one, equals zero or the second factor x minus one equals zero. And those are very, very easy. Subtract two, x equals negative two, or add one, x equals one. Notice there are two solutions. Okay, so quite often you have more than one solution for these problems. <clears throat> Number nine, sorry, I messed up. M times three M plus four times three M minus four equals zero. So that means either this one, M is zero, which is finished, or three M plus four equals zero, or three M minus four equals zero. So this is finished. This one, subtract four, divide three, m equals negative four thirds. Add four, divide three, m equals four thirds. So my three solutions are zero, negative four thirds, and four thirds. <coughs> okay, 17, they don't give it to me in factored form, so just factor it. a squared minus two a minus 24 equals zero. a squared is a a. A minus here means the two sides are opposite. Okay, what two numbers have a product of 24 and a difference of two? six and four, we want to end up with a negative, so negative six, positive four. Okay, so either this is zero or this is zero, but you can just look at it and get it. So we, how do I set this equal to zero or what number do I plug in to get a zero? Six. What number do I plug in to get a zero? Negative four. Or if you want a shortcut, you basically just change the sign or whatever you see here. <laughs> okay, two x squared plus five x minus 12 equals zero. Okay, 2x squared has to be 2x and x. How do I get 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Okay, 2 and 6 is not possible. I'm crossing up the 2 and 6. Those are both even. So if I make combinations of even, I'm not going to get an odd. Okay, 1 and 12, possible, but to get a 5, it's most likely not. Most likely smaller numbers like 3 and 4. And this is the correct way it works. If you further back out, 2x minus 3, x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so I set this equal to zero. Okay, if you add three and divide two, you would have three halves. If I set this equal to zero, negative four. Okay, it's almost like just look at this. X plus four equals zero, subtract four. Okay. This one's a little harder, it's two steps, but I'm trying to push you a little bit for that. You would add three, right? And divide two, so three over two. Okay, this one, three M squared equals 20 minus seven M. Now the right hand side is always supposed to be zero, 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 zero. So it's not zero, you force it to be a zero. <clears throat> so that means I'm gonna add seven M to both sides and subtract 20. So that's what happened over here. I subtracted 20, added seven M. You notice as the semester goes on, I show you fewer and fewer steps. I try to push you to do more in your head. Okay, three M squared is three M and M. Okay. Combinations of 20 are 120. 2, 10, and 4, 5. Again, it cannot be 2 and 10 because we're aiming for a 7, an odd number. So there must be at least one odd factor. <clears throat> 1 and 20, most likely not. 7 is not that big. So it's probably 4 and 5, and this is the proper combination. 3m minus 5, m plus 4. Okay. Quick FOIL check. 3m squared plus 12m minus 5m is 7m minus 20. 
Okay, so set this equal to zero, you get five thirds. Set this equal to zero, negative four. And yes, you probably want to get to the stage where you can do even this in your head because your future math instructors, if you have to take more math beyond our course, they might want you to do this quickly. 3m minus 5 equals 0, you would add to 5, and then you would divide by 3. It means 5 is on top, 3 is on the bottom. Okay. Now if you want to go slower, you can, you can go slower. 41, 2x squared equals 8x. Okay, the right-hand side is supposed to be 0, so I subtract 8x on both sides. Looks like this. Factor out the greatest common factor, 2x, x minus 4. Okay, so by the zero factor property, either this is zero or this is zero. So what number makes 2x zero? Zero. What number makes this zero? Four. Okay, this one, the right hand side is 20. It's supposed to be zero, so I subtract 20. And while I'm at it, distribute 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 equals zero. <clears throat> okay. A minus means the signs are opposite. 2x squared, 2x, and x. Okay, and 20. How do you get 20? 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Again, 2 times 10 is impossible. Those are both even numbers. So if you take combinations of even, you're only getting an even. You're not going to get a 3. 1 and 20, possible but not likely. If this number were like 21 or something, I might choose that. But it's only 3, so it's probably the 4 and 5. It does turn out to be 2x plus 5 x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so I set 2x plus 5 equal to 0. You would subtract 5 and divide 2, so negative 5 halves. And this one, you would add 4, x equals 4. 57, x plus 5 squared. First, let's multiply that out. So that's by formula, x squared plus 10x plus 25. <clears throat> and then all this stuff, subtract the 2x, subtract the 9, so that this becomes a 0. Okay, so if I subtract 2x, it looks like that. Subtract 9, it looks like that. Okay, if it looks like I'm not writing every step, you're right. I'm supposed to wean you off of writing every single step, get you to the point where you can do steps. <clears throat> okay, x squared is x times x. Plus plus is plus plus. 8 and 16, 4 and 4. And yes, that's supposed to be x plus 4 squared, but we don't have to bother. Just say, what makes this 0? Negative 4. And of course, I don't have to bother doing this one because it's redundant. I guess technically you could say negative 4 and negative 4, but you only have to write it once. 65, greatest common factor is 2y. And then left behind is, you say, what do you go multiply this by to get that? 2 times 2, y times y squared. How do you go from there to there? Negative y. <clears throat> from there to there, negative 15. Okay, paren, 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 paren. Minus means the signs are opposite. 2y squared has to be 1 and y. 15 is probably going to be 5 and 3. It is. Mark it like so. You can check with FOIL. So what makes this 0? Zero? 0. What makes this 0? A little bit harder. So 2y plus 5 equals 0. Subtract 5, negative 5. Divide by 2, negative 5 halves. And this one is 3. 73, so FOIL this out, a squared minus a minus 20, if you multiply that out. And you want this to be zero, so I'll add 2a. <clears throat> if I add 2a to a negative a, I just make it a positive a. Okay, minus means the signs are opposite. One's a plus and one's a minus. The coefficient here is one. So what two numbers have a product of 20 and a difference of one? Five and four. So a plus five, a minus four. And so A is either equal to negative 5 or positive 4. And finally, 85, you have to factor by grouping first. So I pair them. You can say, how do I know that? There's four terms like this. Okay, so almost always for these problems where there's four terms, it's going to be grouping. Okay, take out x squared, x plus 3. So you know there's going to be an x plus 3, but there's a minus and a minus. So I take out a minus, <coughs> minus 4 x plus 3. Factor out the x plus 3, x squared minus 4, and x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares, x plus 2, x minus 2. So the complete factorization of this guy is this. Okay. And there we go. What number makes this 0? Negative 3. What number makes this 0? Negative 2. What number makes this 0? Positive 2. So negative 3, negative 2, and 2.
Okay, so these are notes for section 6.7.